Hey there, my sweeties. Aww. Would you like Daddy to finish the story for you? Yeah? The children were nestled all snug in their beds. Well, visions of sugar plums. Oh, are you telling them the night before Christmas? That's the best Christmas story ever. And I'm the best teller ever. I tell it better than anybody. Don't I gotta commit some memorization. Deep. All right, everybody. Don't okay. Wait. I'm supposed to tell the Christmas story. Twas the night before Christmas. And I spent all the day finishing up on my Christmas display. Now, missing all this would be nothing but tragic. So just follow me and I'll show you the magic. Now, out in the yard, in the glorious flutter, is a spectacle there that'll make your heart flutter. With 20 foot cheese balls and a big eggnog fountain and yodeling elves on an ambrosia mountain. A stage where acrobats jump, beat, and prance and honor the day through interpretive dance. <laughs> but just when you think the display is complete, the Christmas parade comes right down the street. With holiday floats all in silver and blue with sugar plum fairies and a reindeer, too. There's a baton twirling snowman all happy and perky, magical peacocks, and a dancing roast turkey. Right when you think that you've just seen it all, comes a huge waffle Santa that's 50 feet tall. Hey, 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 hey. With syrup and butter, the sight just amazes. And it's flanked by a choir all singing his praises. Donkey. Santa? Donkey. Santa! Donkey! Oh, very inappropriate, amigo. Please, allow me. Oh, puss, not you too. Mm -hmm. My homeland would tell a very different tale of the Santa Nicolas. He's not made of waffles. This Santa was suave. It was nothing like that. The Santa I know was a hot, Latin cat. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his paws. And he stood there heroic. A real Santa. Claus. Red are his boots. And so is his cape. Right. His sword is a cane that tastes like crab cake. He wears a fine belt and a leather cravat. And there is a cute fuzzy thing which hangs down from his hat. Ah, oh, crap! The I have shame to myself. All right, everybody. If you leave now, you can beat the holiday traffic. Oh, Bowie, with all your sunshine and lollipops. Where I come from, Christmas is a nightmare. <sighs> Ahem, it was the night before Christmas, and the prettiest sights were my sweetheart beside me and the bright Christmas lights. Until they got home, and they looked at the car door handle, and they found a hole! <laughs> Cindy, cut it out. You're really giving me the creeps. Oh, come on, I was just teasing. Come here, you. <laughs> oh, Gingy, I couldn't stay mad at you. What was that? Oh, no, you don't. I'm not falling for that again. Oh, I'm really, really seriously not kidding. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Now, you know that's not how it goes. You weren't there! 